What's up, you guys? I am walking outside at 4 in the morning, and I don't know why there's two stop signs. Actually, I've been noticing that around here kind of recently. Uh, they're doubling up on signs. I don't know if they're getting ready to expand the road or something. There's like nobody on the road. This is nuts. Normally this road keeps me up all day long because it's so busy with traffic. Is it social anxiety, kids? I guess I'm not a kid anymore, huh? But it's uh, a haven of sorts. No chance of being seen by people. Whoops. The sidewalk is a different elevation there. Yeah, I'm just going to walk down the sidewalk. I don't have any kind of uh, low light or flash, so it might be a very dark video, but yeah, we're not going to play anything. Um, I don't know. I need a video camera. I'm using my phone for this, but it's really muggy out too. It just rained. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, because obviously if it was Celsius, we would be dead. Heck, man, I could just make a whole video just not talking at all, just walking. Yeah, I don't even, you can't even see the sidewalk. I mean, I can, but you can't on the screen, I mean. But that's okay. Um, yeah, I live in a little subdivision to the right here. This subdivision that we're looking at is just a different one. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to make a video playing nothing, video game related at all. And just talking because... I've recorded about 26 Paper Mario episodes, and uh, the last couple ones I've noticed the game has just been getting in the way of my own thoughts. Like there's so much I've been wanting to say, but then the game keeps interrupting my flow of thoughts. Oh yeah, look at this man. I just can't get over the how quiet it is. I've walked this place before, the sidewalk. It just randomly stops up ahead just before a school. But yeah. Sorry, my keys are jingling in my pocket. That might be annoying, I don't know. But. I just finished watching the uh, documentary series on Michael Jordan and the 90s Bulls. The Last Dance, and uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just in my typical ways I start thinking about a lot of stuff. I was gonna go for a drive and do this, but it's kind of hard too. I got one hand holding an energy drink and one hand holding my phone, so it's not really easy to talk about stuff or press any buttons that may need pressing, although I don't know what I would have to press other than maybe activate better lighting. See there's nobody around but I ha I'm so on edge right now. Like this seems peaceful but I just expect a car to come around the corner or somebody and I just assume they're gonna notice me and stare right away. It's a very on edge feeling. I do miss medication for that, I can tell you that much. Also, I don't want to stare at people's subdivisions for too long. I don't think it'll give away where I am, but... But that too, because it's four in the morning here. So it's like the prime hour to be... I'm like right over here though, right over this fence somewhere. Right over that fence is a giant drainage ditch. I guess that collects rainwater or whatever. But yeah, uh, that last dance thing. It's all about Michael Jordan and stuff. And I remember growing up with the Bulls, watching, uh, my friend was a big Scottie Pippen fan and I kind of jumped on that bandwagon and I like Scottie Pippen. And I always thought, obviously Michael Jordan was the greatest basketball player. Not that I know much about basketball, but, uh, it was just an interesting docu-series, 10 episodes on ESPN, and I don't even really like sports. 
I've played a little bit growing up and I watched here and there. Like basketball can be exciting. And I remember those games being very exciting, but more so than anything, what I took home from that was uh, Michael Jordan's ability to stay in the present and never look back and never worry about the future. And also the closure of that entire dynasty. And like everything about it. You can't argue that it was closed. It's done. But I can't help but feel like... I don't know, it just makes me think... When you get concrete, definitive closure on something, is that closure enough? Because every book has a last chapter, a last word, and a hardcover backside. Or maybe a paperback backside, but... Um, Yeah, every, everything has an end. And sometimes the end is very spelled out. Like, it couldn't be more clear-cut. It couldn't be more poetic sometimes. But then you still have to get over that it's over. So it doesn't matter how great the closure is. Is it closure enough for you? Subdivision here, no outlet. Don't think about running away there, I guess. Oh, somebody's coming. Here, we're approaching. Last time I went on this walk, there was a very strange gust of cold air right about here. Like, it was unexplainable. There's nothing around here that generates air conditioned like air, but it was just, I swear to you, like 15 degrees colder than the rest of the air. It's like right here. I'm not feeling it right now, but still, it is kind of four in the morning here. Kind of overgrown too, but anything that would jump out here is more likely to be scared of me rather than me being scared of it. This isn't really an area that gets bears or anything. I don't even see deer. Not like back home. Yeah, so yeah, I've just been thinking about that. This is closure. Just seeing that all again, just seeing the the footage from the 90s, the old cameras they used to film sports, it has that yellow tint to it, you know? Uh, actually, we're already approaching the end of this. Up there, you see, over there to the left, um, that somewhere up there is a school. The sidewalk ends just a little bit after this subdivision. So I might just turn around here, actually. I don't know, I'm just in the mood to walk. I don't have a video camera, though. And obviously all the parks are closed. But I'd love to just walk and talk about stuff. Well, back we go, I suppose. Well, look over there. Let's see, they got a mushroom at their pool, too. I was actually starting to film this as I was walking by the mushroom that's by the pool where I live, but it's all running, but they haven't opened it yet. I don't know how well the ambiance of the night is going to be picked up, like the crickets and the random dogs barking and stuff. Going for a walk, especially now. It's so much better than being inside. Somebody's coming. You can hear it. I might have to put you down. I don't want to get spotted. Oh, 
Okay, he's just going that way. You see, that's a prime example, too. It's just extra suspicious, I guess, because I just don't want people to see me holding a phone. I feel like it might be hard to spot me, so of course they're not really going to look. But then at the same time, I feel like it would be so obvious and everybody would be staring and being like, what the heck is he doing holding a phone out? That's social anxiety for you. If I had pills for that crap still, I'd be taking them, but me and pills are kind of a scary situation. I don't have a good reputation of staying to what I'm supposed to take. But, uh... The yellow tint of the old cameras of the 90s. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Um... I don't know, just something about seeing it all again. It was like a piece of childhood coming back, and it's especially interesting now because everybody is frozen in time, stuck at home, and forced. Anybody who's interested in sports has been watching that. So it's like, for a moment again, the entire world is revisiting the 90s. And that, to me, is just unbelievable. Like, part of me would do anything to just step in a time machine and rewind the clocks and give everybody 30 years ago, make them all 30 years younger again. Somebody's coming, I can hear it in the distance. Enter panic mode. Hang on. a lot faster. I thought I was going to be talking about all these deep topics, but I'm already almost back home. But yeah, there are some nearby parks. I'm just thinking if I can afford a video camera. I want to get those glasses that have a video camera. Then I don't have to hold anything. But I don't know how good the quality of those are. But, um... Yeah, going back to the last dance, Michael Jordan's whole thing is about he doesn't look at the past, he doesn't look at the future. You know, he's just in the present at all times, but it, it makes me wonder, like, how does he not look back on that, those six championships that the Chicago Bulls won? How do you not go back and remember and just, even for a, a moment, wish that you could go back and have one more day with everybody? I, I just don't know how people let go of the past like that and move on. And the closure was all there. Like that thing, they talked about how they knew going into that final season it was the last one. And even at the very end, they all wrote on paper what the team meant to them. They read it out loud to each other. And then they burned. They turned off the lights and they burned it in a coffee can. And then they all walked out together. Like that's, that's closure. But I just, I don't know. Look at this. I don't know if you saw that. Sorry, this, there's a beer can on the side of the road here. A beer sounds good right now, actually. Kind of picking up pace here. I don't know. I feel like it's getting too close to 5 a.m., which means everything's going to get busier. The risk of people being out and stuff is just, it's escalating by the second, so my feet are escalating. Again, social anxiety, man. I'm almost running. It's all good. I do want to get a shot of the pool, though, without giving away where I am. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll do more of this. I don't know. I just felt like something to talk about, really. Oh, uh, somebody's... Yeah. I'm not very good. I can't tell what car that is. 
might even be worse on video, who knows. Almost there. I kind of don't want, I might just walk it again, but like I said, it's getting riskier. It's kind of crazy. Hey, look, shout outs to post 10. Look at this culvert. It doesn't look like it needs on clogging. I'm just gonna be very careful not to show the sign of where I live. It's like right here. That light is wigging out. Yeah, this is the home stretch. Left or right, which way do we go? Well, yeah, I don't know, what's up with that light? Something's definitely running. This is extra scary, because anybody could be outside. Yeah, there's the pool. It looks like it's ready to go. But they said they don't have any word yet when they're actually going to open it to people. Anyway, too many prying eyes. Time to go. So right over there is where uh, we were looking over the fence. Up the stairs of death we go. See you around, I suppose.